My addiction to all things miniature started with these little shampoos and such that you get at motels when I was a little kid. I guess I would sneak into the bathroom and <laughs> grab all these when I was four, five, six and hide them in my toys and stuff. And it's really just, you know, anything miniature. Okay, so I guess the rationale behind it is, okay, I've got these nail clippers and they're perfectly fine. Everything's great. But then I find these nail clippers, right? And I go, oh, look at that. It's half the size, half the weight, and it does the same thing. <laughs> so that's really what it is. It's about everything. I find things and then I find a smaller version of it, basically. And I keep looking for that smaller. It's like a, you know, heroin addict searching for that high. I'm addicted to everything miniature. Right? So for like example, here we've got this real tiny light, but it goes in all of my little kits. And look how tiny it is. It's about the size of a quarter. These are great. You can get them online. I think I got like 20 of them for, I don't even know if it was $9.99. If you do get these, you can see here I'm pressing and it turns on. Well, if you find the one that has this little, this little slider here, you can push down and engage it. Which way does it go? There we go. And now you see it's on hands-free. If you're real tricky, you can actually get a tiny Phillips, open this up and replace these batteries. So it's just a very 007. I think that's another big part of it. Spy gear, right? Spy things. 007 that I grew up on. James Bond. Just little miniature things remind me of that. I'm on a cool app that I found called Ground News. It gives you the news in a different way. It shows you how the story is being reported by different media outlets. So you pick your favorite topics. A story comes up that we've got the left side reporting it, the right side reporting it, and the center reporting it. It shows you who those media companies are owned by and which way they lean. It's fascinating to see how different media outlets report it using their bias. And my favorite part of all is this little button called the blind spot. This shows you who's not reporting it at all. I like to see every side of the story and the Ground News app helps me do that. Check out Ground News. There's a link in the description to get you 15% off any of their plans. Back to it. The safety pin. I talk about this all the time. A billion uses for this thing. Okay, so if you were to go through my kit, hidden all over, I've got these, you know, secured inside of clothing, kit. They've just come in so handy. I call it just, you know, the octopus, tentacles, right? It's just more hands than you have to secure something. So I'm a big safety pin person. So that one's about the size of a nickel, but I've got some that are tinier. What does happen with this stuff is when you get so tiny, it loses its functionality, right? I'll show you here. These are S-beaners. Okay, so it's just a carabiner, but in the shape of an S, so it allows you to connect two different sides. And I use these to secure my gear down to my kit, to my helmet. You need to have all your gear tied down, so that means you're right on your AR, you've got a scope, a red dot. Well, that red dot needs to be tied down with paracord to the weapon system. Because you may be out, you fall, boom, it gets knocked off. Well, if it's tied down, at least you might have a chance to recover it. So this one is one and a half inches. It's pretty tiny, ultralight. Well, look what I found. I found a one inch s -beaner. And you'll, I'm gonna break out the scale and I'll weigh things out. So there we go, there's a mini. This is already pretty small, but now I've got the mini. But right away, that functionality comes up. So <laughs> this is so small that it makes it very difficult to manipulate and use. Here's an example, playing cards. Playing cards are a huge morale booster. If you're out in the field and you've got time on your hands, playing cards can pass the time, conquer that boredom keep you mentally, you know, stimulated. Because that's a huge part of any kind of survival situation. 
Here's my playing cards, a normal pack. And this is what I found. Okay, a little novelty 52 card mini. Okay, so <laughs> look at the difference in the size. And again, I'll weigh things out and show you. But there's that same mentality. I'm having just as much fun, but it's a little harder to see, right? But I can adapt. So I love that. Here's a little um, Tinder Quick, I believe they're called. And this is basically just cotton that's infused with some sort of a chemical. But look how tiny that is. And I've taken these and cut them in half. I'll show you how small you can, you know, how much you need. It's just a little tinder. Okay. So this is getting your larger fuel going. But you can cut this. Again, it's that very James Bondy thing. Now, I've been doing this to my medicines for years. Okay. Now, this is where you can say the addiction's kind of out of control. Because, I mean, this weighs nothing. It's not that big. But I'm so into it that I will take a pair of scissors and you can see there's an inner seal. This is a little Pepsid AC. If you can see that circle. So as long as I don't penetrate that circle, I'm okay. And I will literally come and trim this down. Now I keep it always in a circle shape so I don't have any pointy, you know, rough edges. But I will literally cut it down to this size because now it allows me to fit a lot more of them in there. You can just see that now it's super tiny. Get that sharp edge off there. Enabling me, I use um, little old film canisters. And I'll put my Benadryl, my Pepsid AC, my Tums, whatever pills I've got that are in these little, you know, tinfoil wrappers. And these tinfoil wrappers do help. You know, the things I put these in are waterproofed. But as the pill wears around in there, if it's moving, it can just basically, you know, fall apart. It disintegrates. So I keep them in these little bubbles. But that's a pretty extreme, <laughs> extreme example of how bad it is. Now this is something that is cool. It's a little ferrocerium rod. And I've actually got these that are even smaller. So this is about an inch and a half here. And it's maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Well, you're going to burn through that real quick. But, I mean, how often are you going to use this in a survival situation, an emergency? Hopefully you're not in emergencies that often is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, my real ones are thick. They're half inch thick long anyway i've got these actually where they're half this size and they've got a little hole in them and you can put them through your shoelaces so you can just strap them on there then you've always got a chance that's all the tiny gear and survival stuff it's just a chance but i'll show you what i do with these you know how normally you would scrape this way this is just a standard razor blade well with a knife, you never would scrape on the blade, you know, against something like this, a ferrocerium rod. You're dulling the blade severely. But with this little razor blade, look at that. Good purchase. And I don't see too much wear, but obviously it would start wearing that. But there we go. Good little spark. Now this is precarious because this is a you know, razor blade. But this can be used for a billion different things. A razor blade on you is a huge tradecraft thing, right? Because a razor blade is an extremely volatile weapon for self-defense. Anyway, there's a little tiny thing. These wet fires I love. And if I were to open this, maybe I'll burn it. But inside here, it's the size of a little piece of gum. So it's maybe half an inch. To me, weight is very important. Okay, because every ounce that I dedicate to something like this, well, when I can go lighter, okay, and get the same results with the tool, that's more ounces that I can dedicate to having four more of these, say. Okay, so let's look at this large nail clipper. It's coming in at 1.7 ounces. 
Okay. Now here's this little mini nail clipper. It's coming in at 0.4 ounces. So that's a huge difference in weight. Really, it's just that the weight that I'm saving from this by going with the little, you know, mini. Now I can carry, you know, three more of these, etc., etc. That's kind of the mentality behind it. So here's the example of why I like to save the weight, okay? Because this really doesn't weigh much. We're coming at 3.4 ounces. Well, now by switching to my little minis, I'm coming in at 1.2. So by switching to this, and it's even got a rubber band on it, so it weighs even less, but I'm saving more than half the weight of this, and I'm getting basically the same exact experience, the same results. And with all that extra weight, I can then add, you know, this, and this, and this, and this, right, and this, and all of that equals what I'd be carrying in weight just with this. So instead of having just this, I can now have all this, and that's the mentality behind it. Okay, so this is that little Tinder Quick. Again, it's just like 100% cotton, I bet, infused with some sort of a petroleum base something okay. the way that these work is they come like this well you're supposed to open them fan them out give them surface area okay so they look like that sometimes when you're trying to get something going take the ferro rod especially with this little one just start scraping don't try and get ignition just scrape 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 because we're dropping material onto this tinder quick okay then come back you saw it catch all that. And there we go. Let's take our wet fire. I'll just show you how small it is inside. Once we get it out of its packaging. There you go. You see that little cube. Very small. And again with this you can just cut a little piece off. This burns for quite a while. Let's see if it'll even... Ooh, there we go. Perfect. So there's a small little half inch by half inch, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Now I've tried many times to get these going with a ferrocerium rod. I think maybe once I got it to go, but they're not really designed for that. In an emergency, you could keep trying and build up that ferrocerium rod dust. You know, it'll go, but it's really for a lighter. So come here and you see her take off. So that's an intro to my miniature addiction, right? With my minis that started with this little motel shampoo. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you can see it does have some purpose, okay? Saving half the weight and getting the same basic results is definitely worth it in my opinion.